Hi friends, have you wondered why people are still buying property in this high interest rate environment and during these times of uncertainty? Do you think that these people are buying property because they come from a wealthy background? What if I told you that out of 10%, 7 of them are just like us? A few years back, before I come into this industry, I crossed paths with one of my subordinates back then when I was in the army. During our conversation, he told me that he bought a new property, and I replied this, Hey brother, Sensei property Guess what he responded? Back then I couldn't phantom what he meant and I just laughed it out. I only recently realized what he meant. If you think about it, property is supposed to be an asset, means it grows over time. So if you think of your property as a piggy bank and the action of you paying the mortgage into the property is like putting coins into the piggy bank, then it all makes sense. The reason why people are afraid to buy property is because of their mindset. They think of buying property as an investment, and when you have this thought, naturally you relate to risk. Is it too risky? What if this investment fails? But what if you change your mindset of buying a property as a saving plan? For example, have you ever relate endowment plan with risk, even though there's certain risk when it comes to buying an endowment plan? This is because when we buy a saving plan, the mentality is to save rather than to gamble and earn from it. So now if let's say you purchase a property that costs you $1 million and for whatever reasons, it doesn't appreciate. From an investment angle, you have wasted your time, but from a saving angle, you have saved $1 million, which means to say that your net worth now is $1 million. So to summarize, property is a tool for us as specially Singaporeans to use. Even PRs and foreigners are willing to pay the additional tax, which is ABSD, as they see the benefit of buying a property in Singapore. This is what I call the by the way retirement planning tool because this by the way gives us a roof over our head and at the same time we can save as we earn. As prices are constantly rising due to inflation, working hard is no longer enough. It is either you continuously work hard for the money and have pockets of funds for leisure purposes or let your money work harder for you so you have enough funds at 65 years old. This provides you with options. Having options in life are important because it allows flexibility in life. For example, having enough funds to retire at 65 years old, you can now choose to continue to work hard or work leisurely while going for occasional trips while you are still able to. I'm pretty sure that you have come across some of the seniors who do not have choice but to continue working as they do not have the chance to build up their retirement plan due to knowledge gap. If you give them a second chance to turn back time, I'm pretty sure things will be different. In my previous video, I briefly spoke about why people are using property as a investment plan or a saving plan. So if you are interested to watch, do click the link above to watch the video. I have come to the end of my video. I have explained two things in this video. Firstly, from which angle you should have when it comes to buying property. And secondly, the importance of retirement planning through net worth building. If you enjoyed the video and wishes to find out more about property or retirement planning, do drop me a DM or contact me via my social media. Help to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so. I will see you in the next video.